Okay friends, one of the first things we need to do is safely raise and support the vehicle from under the frame. Let's get this center cover off of here. Remove all six of your lug nuts and remove the wheel. Now let's remove our axle nut. Remove the washer. Let's spray this area with some penetrant. Let that soak, move along. Now that the wheel's off of here, we have a nice clear view of this area. Let's continue on to pushing back our caliper piston. Typically to do that, you can use a pry bar. Come right in between this area right here. And then we're just gonna slowly and carefully pull on this like that. Next, we need to remove our caliper sliders. There's one slider, do the same to the other one. Go ahead and grab onto that caliper and give it a nice wiggle, see if we can get it to break free. Set this up here so it's not putting any tug on there. Remove the rotor. The next thing we want to do is disconnect our ABS wire. You just pull on this tab, you can pop that off of there. It's always a good idea to make sure you inspect all of your connections, make sure you don't see any funny colors. Assuming you don't, set it aside. We're going to remove this 13 millimeter headed bolt here. And then if you follow it along, you'll find a nut with a bolt coming from the bottom. Let's get them both out of there. Now I'm just going to use a little fork tool or even a pry bar. Just get underneath this, pop it out of the frame. Now let's get these off of here. Now looking behind this hub area, you're going to be able to see where there's three mounting bolts, one up top and then two that are down diagonal from there. If you were to spin your front hub, you're going to notice that there's going to be a couple holes Go ahead and line those up with the bolts and then start removing them. Now the next thing we're going to do is just take our axle nut, start it on the axle just a few threads, and then we're going to continue on to bonking on our wheel bearing, trying to break it free from the knuckle itself. Let's go ahead and pull this off of here. There it is, friends. Now let's just go ahead and clean up the area, get any grease out of here, and of course clean up the mating area so it's nice and smooth. All right, now let's just clean up this entire area, paying special attention to the bolt holes as well. All right, before we can go ahead and put in our brand new bearing, we wanna of course make sure that we clean up the threads on our mounting bolts. Let's do that now. All right, now it's time to install our brand new wheel bearing. Let's go ahead and carefully slide it over the axle. We want to make sure that the splines match up. And of course, we want to make sure that the ABS wire is going to be located in this general area right here and not over where the caliper is going to be. Now that that's in there, let's go ahead and put our plate on it. That's going to be a shield that's going to protect the ABS wire. Now we'll just go ahead and start in all three of our bolts. We'll snug them up and then we'll torque them to manufacturer specifications. <laughs> now let's torque this to 133 foot pounds.
Now let's secure our ABS wire. You're going to notice you have little prongs. Set those so they're facing down towards the control arm slash ball joint. Take your bolt from the bottom to the top. Start on that nut. Let's bring the other end all the way over here. Let's grab that ABS wire. Connect it in. Let's go ahead and push this tab into the frame. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now let's just go ahead and start snugging everything up. Now let's coat the cleaned area with some copper never sees. Let's get that rotor on there. I'm just going to start one of these lug nuts to hold the rotor from moving around. Now let's carefully put our caliper over the rotor here. Now we'll just start in both of our sliders and we'll torque them to 38 foot pounds. Now let's go ahead and put on the axle nut. We're going to tighten this up by hand so it's nice and snug and then we'll put on the wheel, torque everything down. Now let's start on all of our lug nuts. Now let's go ahead and torque this axle nut to 103 foot pounds. Now we're going to go ahead and torque our lug nuts to 140 foot pounds. Now that everything's torqued, let's continue on by putting on our center cover. Go ahead and snug up all of those plastic nuts.